Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel and another video of Hogwarts Legacy, the tale of Marcus Del Rosario. Del Rosario, I mean. <laughs> so last time we just did one side quest for Natty. I wasn't expecting it to take that long, but it did. So this time we're going to go meet up with Poppy and see what's up with her. Sure, I have to go to the Forbidden Forest. I did do a few things off, um, off camera, cause yeah, I, I got my full, my, my final one update or upgrade, and I finished one other side quest that wasn't really that important to the story. I forget what it was though. It was the spiders. Spiders in that one town. What are you guys doing? These are flying kites. Cool. Um, what else did I do? I think that was it. As far as side quests. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Well, let's go to the Forbidden Forest. Let's go talk to Poppy. She is. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Ah. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. <laughs> Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere there's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving <laughs> i suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience that's exactly the right word i just never mind what is it it's nothing truly i've we've no secrets to hide uh... that's right We'll simply be honest with them about what we're Does trying to do. Really not They'll have, have to help to hide, us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Uh. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Wow. That should have murdered us. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Yay. <laughs> Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. It's always the young ones, huh? So arrogant. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be 
Oh. In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I hope you'll be okay when you come back. So I feel like the young one's just going to try to, like, I don't understand. Him. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. <laughs> I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, I can't even finish this. Oh, at least I can start it, I guess. Am I not? Does it not pop up that I finished this quest? Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I took on another side quest to go save Biscuit. What's that? Yeah. Is this uh, like the uh, astronomer uh, table thingy? Yep. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. Centaur. Oh no, those are um those things, uh, hippogriffs. Cool, but I already have a couple. All right, so I want to do one more side quest before I continue on the main one, because I don't think this one will take that long. That was a really short one. Well, as soon as I'm done with this one, let's just go straight to uh, the main quest, one of the main story quests. The upgrade was supposed to make my broom faster, but it really doesn't feel like it's any faster. Poachers! God, if it was right then, I'd better be careful. Revelio. Right, let me just sneak around. <laughs> Before he even alerted anybody else. Nice. Just watch him. Just watch him. Huh. 
find the rarest beasts in the forest, I do. I drink this to Dallas. Let me just get rid of that one more over there. Is that even a person or is that like a Doug Bog? That's a person. Wonder where we should aim for next. <laughs> Somewhere else they're lured into thinking the ministry will protect them. <laughs> the beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Ooh, treasure chest. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Hello, Amora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Where'd the other ones go? I hope I got the right one. I don't think it matters. I don't think he knows. Right? Just gonna grab a ball. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Where'd the other one go? There's one of the blue ones. I'm just gonna grab a ball. Everything's all right now. Any other ones? I didn't run off too far. Oh, there. Let's get you back to gold, shall we? I wasn't gonna go back with the wrong moon calf. <laughs> I guess he already named him this way, so that's the reason why you can tell the difference. I should investigate. Yeah. Ooh. Ended a little bit badly, but I got away. outside Let me also Oh right there Lumos Nice. 
twice. Cool. Alright, let's go to the dude. In the goblin. Oh. Garnef, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard give me something kind. Anyway, so. <laughs> You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. But isn't there like a... I mean, I'm sorry I have to do this, but... Oh, sorry. Isn't there like a... Uh... Oh, I'm not going to do that one yet. Isn't there like a... Uh, a place where I can sell beasts? Is it this place over here? Wait. This remarkable thing is called an accordion. <laughs> Look at it go! I keep tipping him every time I see him because I want to see his thing go bigger. Get more instruments for his little uh, performance thing. So pretty sure he got a lot more. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dory Core Feather, it doesn't half hurt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my Wampus Cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. <laughs> I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me, most of the suppliers of Thwopper Feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose, the cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to ear with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. You should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. 
Yeah. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I will. She's Take smart. all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. Cool. I'm just gonna I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Flooper. Cool. All right, let's go get this main quest done with already. As much as I want to help out these side quests, there's still one main quest before I end this video. Oh. Uh. I gotta do this one first. Da da da. Got somebody else over here too. Upstairs. Eh. So many people want me to do side quests. I'll come back later though. I'll do those off camera. Such a journey. Wait. No, I gotta go this way. <coughs> Oop, downstairs. Isn't there? Oh my gosh, I could have just gone down here. I chose the. Uh, uh, uh. Where am I going? I literally could have just used the flu, the flu powder over here or this. I could have. Oh my god. I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We've already made the journey. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Huh.
Okay, well, at least I finished that main quest. It's not that not too bad. So, I don't feel How too bad. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? But... Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Waiting for that spawn. So... There we go. Alright, so, actually, what I'm going to do... Shinch... <sighs> technically finish that let's do another one side quest one more side quest let's speak to maddie this time though this will be the closest one yeah let's speak to natty and then i'm just gonna end this video there after i finish whatever her quest is hopefully it doesn't take too long I've been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Yeah. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. All Thank right. you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Cool. Let's get out of here, because it's a really noisy. Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um, how does this work again? Seven. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That's nine. So nine plus seven. Minus twenty-four minus oh, crap. Mental math is not my strong suit. Oh, just a second. Twenty-four minus five. Uh so that's eight. So zero one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The spider. So the question mark is the spider. Q. 
Okay, and then the bottom one. That's three. One, zero, one, two, three. The dragon. Hey, yo, let's go. Nice. Cool, it's nice and quiet in here, too. Perfect. All right, well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> uh, I did one main story, even or one main quest, even though it was kind of like not really uh, anything interesting. It was just confirming with the painting or the headmistress or whatever she was. And I did like, what, two side quests, but they, they were just all conversations. Anyway, but yeah, <laughs> that'll be it for me for this video. Gone to the, I mean, I've reached my uh, allotted time limit that I gave myself. But yeah, um, next time, let's see. What else we gotta do, side quest wise? Oh, well, not really. I don't really have to do any of these. I do have those ones that are on the map, but I don't want to do them right now. I want to finish the story. So... I guess we gotta become Professor Black? Because I'm guessing because that's Paula Juice Potion. That's what it does, right? It makes you look like a person that you're not. But yeah, with all that, we're gonna do that next time. And yeah. Again, thank you guys for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.